Jerba, an island in southern Tunisia. It is home to one of North Africa's largest Jewish communities. Tunisia has been home to Judaism and Arabs for thousands of years and will be home to them for thousands more. We do not need to use the word tolerance because it implies that there is a grudge that needs to be forgiven. We coexist as brothers with no differences. There are similarities between a Jew and a Muslim. No differences. Every year, thousands of Jews participate in the Girba pilgrimage. For two days, they pray, sing, and light votive candles. They are often joined by Muslim religious leaders. We want to send out a message of hope for coexistence between Jews and Muslims. Even Christians were there through a church official. And this is also a message to the world, even to France, where unfortunately there's a rise in anti-Semitism. I think it's better that we coexist, that we break the barriers and create an atmosphere of love and coexistence. We must get rid of all the bitterness, hatred and malice. Most Jews in Jerba live alongside Muslims. I have a Jewish neighbor and this is my Muslim neighbor. And there I have another Jewish neighbor and another Muslim neighbor as well. We all live together. We do not think about someone as a Jew or a Muslim. There is no difference. Religion is something between a person and his creator. Sometimes I'll joke to my neighbors and urge them to join Islam and they respond by urging me to convert to Judaism and we all laugh together about it. Despite the peaceful atmosphere, security in Tunisia is still tight. During protests against government austerity measures in January, a small synagogue in Jerba was damaged by petrol bombs. Tuli Shabalala, CGTN.